everybody. Welcome to Briar Cottage. Um, today I'd like to talk about needles and separating floss. Okay. Alright, first of all, let's talk about punch needles. There are a number of different punch needles. This is an Ultra Punch Cameo, which seems to be a favorite of people who punch, um, I don't know, maybe they punch six and three strand with it, but it seems to be a, um, a favorite. I really like, and I, and, um, I think it's a favorite because a lot of people punch six strand. And, um, I, I prefer three strand so I like the I find the six strand to be very um, stressful on my wrist and on my hands and the tension that it creates you've seen other videos where it pops um, there's a lot of tension in that floss so there's a lot of tension in your hand where the smaller thread count you go less tension on your hand, on the fabric, on your wrist. Um, so I prefer the CTR needles. Now this is a CTR six strand needle. You can see the size. I mean, there's a considerable difference in the size there. Um, but I prefer three strands. Now this is the, there is a three strand, and I believe it comes with three needles, Ultra Punch. And I believe it's a small, medium, and large. But like I said, I'm not an expert in that. I will probably be teaching most of the time with the CTR needles. This is the three strand CTR needle. And then there is a, one strand CTR needle that I can't get to because my tripod is actually sitting in the drawer. So I'll show that to you another time, but we won't be going with that till way later. For now, um, I just wanted to show you the difference in the needles and um, explain a little bit about the floss. We'll go into the different needles a little bit later. But for now, I wanted to show you um, floss. Um, the, the floss, a lot of people don't like to separate the strands of thread. And let me show you exactly what I mean by that. In, in DMC floss, and I store mine on a bundle, and I uh, put a rubber band around different clumps. Um, I, if I have a small bunch, I'll put tape around it. If I want to add to it, I start adding with the rubber band. Um, as you can see, this is one of my favorites, so it's got the rubber band. Um, let me show you just what I mean about the floss. DMC is actually made up of six tiny strands to make one big strand. So when you talk about six strand, you would use this whole floss as is. If you want to reduce the size of your floss for more detail work, you would start separating these strands. So you would want to take out three strands of this, which is half of it, and then you have two strands of floss to work with a three strand punch. I know that, that sounds really weird. Let me try and explain that better. So what you're gonna do is you are going to pull a length of this big six strand floss. Um, I work with about 30 inches. And what I do is I actually, you can feel it pull. You can feel it like click. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We'll go seven for now, or I'm gonna have a big clump on here. I normally drag it off to the side of my frame, um, and then I snip. 
and put this aside. All right, now what I'm going to show you is how to separate strands of thread because if you're not going to do the six strand, which you can, um, you're going to have to learn to separate the floss. And since I'm a three strand, three strand puncher, then you're, you know, to work with my patterns, you're going to have to learn to separate. And eventually, I want to take you to a really detailed piece where you're using all different size needles and for detail work. Um, but we're not going to go into that now. I'm going to show you how to separate. So you spread this out and you end up with, I've got three separate strands here I lucked up. But what you're going to do is you're going to take one of these strands and you're going to pull it. Pull it straight out. Now I put mine on the corner. On uh, I lay it down on my frame and I keep pulling and as I pull this is bunching up let me see if I can show you this is bunching up and pulling out of the big six strand thread now normally when I do this I will pull straight out my hands gone I know but as you pull straight out your um, it bunches and it doesn't tangle I mean most of the time it doesn't tangle unless you have a knot or something in there um, which can be, you just open up the knot and keep pulling. So, what you want to do after you've pulled this strand out, make sure that strand is hanging over the side of your frame or hoop or armchair and it's separated. So, what you're going to do is you're going to pull another. But first, before you pull it, make sure that that strand of floss is straight. Okay? And again, I lay it off to the side and I've got a nice straight piece again. Grab the next strand and I put it up near this one, near the end of this one. I hope you can see that on the frame. And then I pull again. So it's bunching up in there again and one more strand is coming up. Now, if you do a long arm, and you keep pulling that outer end, it's gonna come right out. So, now you get really, I become really quick at it, but, um, and as you go, you will, because you're not, I'm trying to keep it in the frame, so it makes it a little bit more difficult, but, Really, it comes out very fast. I'm going to show you. I'm going to do, uh, I'll do the third strand and I lay it down up top and then I just pull, 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 and it comes right out. All right, now this strand is three strands, so you don't have to do any more separating. So you straighten that out. I lay it across the top of my frame so I can use it. Next. And I start with this one and I put these ends together and they don't have to be perfect what you're wasting a quarter inch there no big deal and you grab this end and you straighten out that that three strand floss and you're ready to go I mean if 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 you keep if you keep the floss straight it will it will not tangle on the other end. The trick is is not to keep it bunched up. And you'll have a nice, easy, straightened piece of floss. There's really nothing difficult about it. Now see, there's a little loop, but if you just pull that little loop, let me put this down. If you just pull this little loop, that will come right out. That's because I, I, I'm not throwing it out, you know, I'm not keeping it straight. I'm trying to bunch it up for you as I go. But um, it really does, it, it really is not a tedious process once you get the hang of it. You know, if you, if you pull long stretches with your arms, like full arms length, those 
threads are going to stay really straight for you and not bunch up. Okay, so now we have the three um, strands separated. So now you have two strands ready to go and punch a three strand um, bunch of nail project. Okay, this is a threader. Um, it is a been used a lot it's a gnarly threader notice there's no tab like in a cameo ultra punch and that's important especially with a CTR needle I know a lot of you more than not separating threads you don't like to thread the needle well come on now folks this is all part of the part of needle punch um, okay so if you look at this needle you will find that there is a flat end and a beveled edge. Now the beveled edge on a CTR needle actually has a silver bar there to tell you where it is. It's a, it helps with direction of punching and it also helps thread your needle. Now in, in this needle, there's a tube that runs straight through, like any punch needle, runs straight through, through the handle of your needle and what you're gonna do is you're gonna thread with the looped end and on a cameo you would have a tab so you would use the end with the loop on it and you're gonna put that on the inside of that tube and push it through your needle and it's going to come out the other end because this is a hollow tube running through here so what you for a CTR needle, and now this is a CTR only, you hold on to this end, see the threader hanging out? You hold on to the needle and the threader, and you put your thread through the loop at this end. And you're gonna pull to the end so it creates like a little, it's gonna lock it into the end of the threader. Okay, now what you're going to do, I hope I'm not in the way here, you're going to pull on this end and it's going to bring it down through that tube and out the other end. Now before you let go of that, this is something that the Cameo, you have to unthread this from the threader, put the threader back through your needle and attach the thread on the other end. With a CTR needle, you do not have to do that. You take the opposite end of where your thread is, and there is an eye on this beveled side, a hole or an eye. You take the end of your threader and you put it straight through that eye and pull. So it's one process. Up through the tube, thread your thread, pull it down through the tube, turn it around, put it straight through the beveled side of the eye and you are done. That is threaded. No double threading the thread or nothing. So you're done. Um, you pull it down and you are ready to punch. So it's that quick. Um, if you like, I'll do that for you again. But it's it's so much easier threading the CTR needle than it is threading the Cameo. And that's one reason I really like the CTR needles. The threaders are smaller, don't lose them. Um, and it's basically one, one shot threading. So let me see if this zoom, I'm gonna pause here. There we go. Zoomed in a little bit further. Now let me show you. Here's the beveled size side. Here is the flat side. You're gonna take the beveled side with the silver line and put the threader straight into the tube. Into the tube, not the eye. And bring it out the other end. See? Can you see it? Here's the looped end of the threader and the non-looped end of the threader. Now you're going to put your floss 
through the loop at the end of the handle and pull gently up to the end of the threader. This locks it into the top of the threader. Now, you're going to pull this end, here's your silver line, pull this end straight down out of the tube, turn it over. I pinched the thread so the hole's clear. Put it through the eye and out the other side of the eye. And you are done. That's threaded. Pull it back so you're not wasting floss and you're ready to go. Okay, so that's threading the needle. This is the threader. Um, this is your separated floss. And you're set to practice punching. Alrighty, let, we'll see what this video looked like. And if it looks good, I'll post it and I'll see you for the next step. Alrighty, lesson one. Bye now.